So today I'm out in the deserts of northern Arizona with Jim Rice and Jake Bleacher. They're getting ready to go on their seven day mission. So what exactly is it that you're hoping to accomplish during this mission? Well, we have a series of technology tests and demonstrations here with the hardware like the rovers and uh, other assets that have been built at various NASA centers. Uh, from the scientist's perspective, we're really interested in how dual rover operations go. So we've never done an operation with two rovers and four crew members at the same time. So we're testing several different communication scenarios and uh, different scenarios with using the rovers. So do they go together or do they separate and go different directions? And uh, how does that best enable us to do the science that we want to do on another planetary surface? Why exactly is it important that we have a geologist out here on this mission? That's a good question. I mean, we're, when we go to any planetary surface, we're going to do field geology when we go there. That's the prime science driver. And I think one geologist has to be involved in one of these missions wherever we're going at least. We're the people who can make the expert calls on the geology there and uh, based on our traverse plans and if we need to make any changes to that. If we see something more interesting that didn't see from the uh, remote sensing data, we're on the ground and our experience of doing field work comes to value there. You're going to eat, live, sleep out there, right? Not at all. Stay in there except to go out on EVAs. That's our home away from home. EVA is meaning space walks, kind of? Well, these are simulated moon walks. It's supposed to be a moon mission, or it could be a mission anywhere to the surface, uh, Mars, asteroid, or whatever. So have a great traverse, and we'll see you on the other side. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot.